Let's solve the following equation. We have 1 over x squared minus 4 over x plus 1 is equal to 0. Since this is a rational equation, we want to first write our restricted values. Notice if I let x equal 0 in either one of these denominators, then I would get 0 in the denominator, and we cannot divide by 0. So we want to make sure that we note our restriction that x cannot equal 0 in our solution set. Now let's go about solving this rational equation. The best way to do this is to clear the fractions. And we can clear the fractions by multiplying both sides of this equation by what the least common multiple of x and x squared is, and that would be x squared. So we'll take the entire left-hand side, multiply it by x squared, and we'll do the same to the right-hand side. Let's distribute this x squared through. We have x squared times 1 over x squared minus x squared times 4 over x plus x squared times 1, and that's equal to 0 times x squared, which is just 0. Now in the next step, we should see that our fractions will cancel. x squared divided by x squared just gives me 1. So 1 times 1 is just 1, minus. In this case, x squared divided by x simplifies to x. So I have minus x times 4, and I'll write that as 4x. Plus x squared times 1 is just x squared, and that's equal to 0. So we have a quadratic equation, but it's not in standard form because it's not in descending order. So let's rewrite it with the x squared term first. So I'll have x squared, then my linear term, minus 4x, and then the constant, plus 1, is equal to 0. Now, in this case, this quadratic equation will not factor on the left-hand side. So let's apply the quadratic formula to solve this equation. In this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 4, and c is equal to that last constant term, which is 1. Let's substitute these values into the quadratic formula, and we'll get the following solution we'll get that x is equal to negative b, which is negative 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so I have negative 4 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 1, and that's all over 2 times a, which is 1. We just need to simplify this. So x is equal to positive 4 plus or minus the square root of, when I take negative 4 and square it, I get 16 minus 4, all divided by 2. That simplifies to 4 plus or minus the square root of 12 all over 2. Remember, the square root of 12 is the same as the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. So this simplifies to 4 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 3 all over 2. Now before we write our final answer, we need to make sure that we factored the numerator completely and divided out any like factors. And notice, we can actually factor out a 2 from the numerator. When we do, we're left with 2 plus or minus the square root of 3 all over 2. And we can divide out those like factors of 2. And our final answer is just going to be 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. We'll write that in set notation. Our solution set is 2 plus or minus the square root of 3.